Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the hundredth video that I've done in six months, so hooray! And for a special uh, thing, I'm going to do three things that very few people know about curves. Even some real experts I know have said they didn't know these things. So let's have a look at them. So let's first of all get some curves. Here we go. And let's bring this up here. And the first thing is that if I pull this one up here, everything's white because it's all the white level, and I pull the white stuff, I make it go to black, and the black stuff's gone to white, which means I got a negative. And this is generally true. Whenever anything goes downhill, we've got a negative. So if I reset that, and I do a little bit of jiggling here, this is up here, and this is down here, say I'll and then maybe I'll just go up, oh, bring this up a bit here and make this go really down. Now, when we do that, sometimes it looks a bit funny. It's because there's a bit in the middle here. This bit here has gone negative. And we can use this for special effects sometimes and do funny things. So let's reset and put a ping in the middle there. And pull the right hand down. So I got a like an end curve here which this is interesting, and what we can start doing is looking at our blend modes. And if we go to here and go right the way down here and look at some of the things down here. Oh, hang on. There's an interesting one, isn't it? So that's a colour blend mode. And because this has gone negative, see before and after, see it's the negative stuff is happening in the lights which is in the sky so i've made myself a kind of orange sky which is kind of okay it's kind of interesting isn't it uh, what else has happened yeah this stuff down here has gone a bit blue but that's okay so playing around there we go when it goes downhill it's negative right next one reset the next one is something that's probably the most important thing is whenever you pull some thing up here, pull the curve around the place. Yes, you pull up, you're brightening, you're pulling down, you're darkening, and that's all that most people think about, which is okay. But what you're also doing is you're changing the gradient. When the gradient is steeper, then this change here and that change there shows that the contrast across this range is increasing. So this is around the darker areas, whereas the lighter areas here, which is less of a gradient, goes more not quite so uphill the contrast is less so that's why the sky there is kind of washed out or as we go the other way then down here there's less contrast in the darks and more contrast in the lights so the sky now is a lot more contrasty and this is why for example the standard s curve you do think like this what are we doing the steepest bit is in the middle, and it's the where a lot of the picture often is, and that's the mid-tones. We're putting contrast into the mid-tones, taking it out of the darks and the lights. So, there we go. Hope that one's good too. And we'll reset this, and the last one is a little bit of a trick, and that's we have to play with blend modes again, but if I go down to here and go to a darken, then what the darken does, it takes the before and after pictures and it takes just the darkest pixel between the two. So that means if I go up here, nothing's happening because it's only taking the lower layer, which is the original picture. Whereas down here, it's darkening everything, so it's taking the upper picture is the one after I have changed it. So that means I can combine these. So if I drag something, a bit of this up here, this area here, there is no change. Nothing's happening. This only effect we're having in this picture is from here on upwards. So I can use this for specific effect. I just want to do this. I can throw that over the line and forget about it. If I reset that, change the blend mode to lighten, and I've got the reverse effect. So if I pull this down, nothing happens. But if I go up, it lightens. So again, I can lighten a bit, say, the, oh, the darks here and pull everything else just below the line. Then everything up here is not being affected and the lightning is only happening down here. 
So there we go, three effects you can have with curves. Not everybody knows about them, but now you do. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you keep watching for the next hundred videos. Bye-bye for now.